Thanks for the ride. Our next story takes us here to Racine, Wisconsin, where our demand for fuel efficiency and power in cars has its roots in automotive history, like these Model T Fords. Of course, today's vehicles are a far cry from these antique vehicles, but these were the forerunner of what you can actually do when you can control the temperature of a car engine. And you can thank one Wisconsin company for that, as you're about to see. It all started in 1916, when one man, Arthur B. Modine, opened up a small radiator shop in Racine, Wisconsin. Modine's big break came with his first patent for the Spirex radiator for farm tractors, and led to the production of radiators for the Ford Model T. That leadership and thermal management for nearly any vehicle would continue for the next century. Modine was very important to Model T's also because they were an original equipment supplier to Henry Ford during those years. He made two million Model T's in 1923 alone. Think of where you get all the parts for those. Thermal management is a concept that might be foreign to many people, but the reality is many of the products that we use around the world depend on effective thermal management to function properly. Modine has made its living managing and solving these difficult thermal management problems for almost 100 years, and we continue to do so today. Of course, a lot has changed since then. 100 years and over 2,400 patents later, Modine's heat transfer technology has moved from the Model T to the Tesla, and it now has 30 facilities in 16 countries. But one thing has remained constant, Modine's innovation in solving difficult heat transfer problems as well as its passion for the environment. The days of seeing black smoke coming out of trucks, farm equipment and construction equipment are pretty much gone. And the basis of that is the higher emissions norms that are now in place. What our radiators and equipment do are help manufacturers assist them in reaching those higher levels to continue to make the environment cleaner and a better place for all of us to live. This is especially true in the vehicular industry, where Modine is at the forefront of innovation in meeting customer demands for increased power, while still attaining greater fuel efficiency and reduced energy consumption, all in compliance with ever more stringent emission standards. So engine cooling and powertrain cooling is one aspect of what we do here at Modine. As government regulations and customer expectations become more stringent, our customers around the world rely on Modine to help them produce vehicles that are cleaner to operate and more fuel efficient. And that can present some, some pretty big tasks for us to, to uh, solve. Modine meets those heat transfer challenges here at its world-class technical center in Racine, Wisconsin, where virtual computer-based testing is performed on new products. Here, two state-of-the-art vehicular wind tunnels provide physical testing of the latest innovations in heat transfer technology, including Modine's very first wind tunnel commissioned in the U.S. in 1941, which is still in use today. The reason that we have wind tunnels at Modine is to make sure that we can replicate the exact conditions a vehicle will see anywhere in the world. And the reason that's important is to make sure the vehicle, through our heat exchange technology, can meet the new emissions uh, standards that are out there right now. In this case, Modine is preparing to test one of its latest product innovations, an advanced cooling system for the transit bus industry that will help over 100 transit agencies across the United States and Canada, including the City of Racine Transit Authority. The end result is to save taxpayer dollars by reducing engine loss, which in turn lowers greenhouse gas emissions, lowers maintenance costs, and results in fuel savings of up to 15% for the transit bus industry, no matter where that bus travels in the world. You can pick pretty much any point on the globe and you can make that vehicle think that that's where it is in this tunnel. Uh, from temperatures from minus 20 up to plus 130, wind speeds up to 150 miles an hour with complete humidity and solar control, we can make that vehicle think it's anywhere in the world that it needs to operate and still meet the emissions requirements that are applicable in that country. The largest single budget item that I've got other than personnel costs is diesel fuel. If I can save at least 5%, I'll be overjoyed. I talk to people around the country and uh, we've heard of savings that might be two to three times at 5%. We'd like to get there and that's why we're working with Modine to personalize the system to our operation. 
Modine has even developed a product to increase the life of the all-important battery for one of the hottest selling cars in the high-performance electric car industry. Tesla Motors trusted Modine to develop a heat exchanger for its exclusive Tesla Model S electric automobile. Modine came up with the Layered Core Battery Chiller, designed to maintain a constant battery temperature of 30 degrees centigrade, which is critical for the car battery's longevity and high performance. It's very important, it's critical for the battery to have precise control of temperature across the entire battery. So it's the Modine Chiller which takes heat energy from the battery coolant and transfers it into the colder refrigerant. Now you can imagine that's very important to the owner of a Model S to maintain the battery life. This is the, the Motor Trend car of the year, so Modine is very, very proud to have a, a part in it. And again, the, the heart of the car is the battery and the powertrain, and this is a critical, a critical piece in that system to make sure that the owner gets long-term use out of that vehicle. So it's, it's very important to us. From the Model T to the Tesla, Modine has always been behind the scenes, or in this case, a wind tunnel, to help solve our thermal management problems making life a little easier and more enjoyable while still helping us protect the environment.